Hi, my name is Jim Lindsay. I'm a retired engineer and I would like to introduce you to an amazing tool called Dalmax. In fact, Dalmax is not just a tool, it is a complete joining system. The device with its accessories is capable of creating any wooden joint conceivable regardless of length, width, thickness or angle. Dalmax can be disassembled, rearranged, accessories can be added to create the most versatile system on the market. Using this hydraulic test stand shown here, which stresses the joint to the point of failure, we have been able to prove that a closely spaced dowel joint is approximately 30% stronger than a comparable mortise and tenon and approximately 200% stronger than a number 20 biscuit. With our system, no measurements are required. Dowel max is aligned on the wooden workpiece using, using check marks. An instructional video is included in our basic kit. The device can centre on wooden workpieces of any thickness and the operation of our system is very straightforward with reportedly a 20 minute learning curve. We guarantee the most versatile system on the market and the variations of Dalmax you see arranged here are all derived from this basic unit. The components required to create these variations are again all included in our basic kit. I will now show you examples of dull joints created by Dalmax, which will demonstrate the versatility and accuracy of the system. The first example is an intricate joint, it's one to one, end to end. It's created with Dalmax in its normal configuration, and after that it's mitered to prevent rotation. The next example is a one by two to one by two, end to edge, again created with Dalmax in its normal configuration. The next example is a 1 by 4 to 2 by 2. Uh, the 1 by 4 is carried out with Domax in its normal configuration and is very straightforward. However, it will be noted that in the case of the 2 by 2, the joint is offset 3 eighths of an inch, therefore we require a 3 eighths spacer. We introduce this spacer into the inside of the Dalmax reference bracket, like so. And using the device in this configuration, we can complete the 2x2 two two joint. The next example is a 1x6 to 2x2. Two two. Again, the 2x2 two two is undertaken with the Dalmax with the 3 8 spacer installed. However, with the 1x6, in order to maintain continuity and accuracy, it is necessary to use Dalmax in its normal configuration in conjunction with the indexing pin. Dalmax is installed on the workpiece according to the check marks. Holes are drilled as required. Dalmax is slid along the workpiece and the indexing pin is inserted through the last hole. Drilling continues regardless of whether it's a 1x6, 1x8 or 1x12. The next example is a 1x12 to 4x4. The 1x12 is fairly straightforward to complete using the indexing pin. However, when completing the 4x4, we need to use the two large spacers to create this Delmax in this configuration. Delmax is then used in conjunction with the indexing pin to create the bores on the 4x4. Four four. The next example is a long joint. And in order to maintain continuity and accuracy, it is necessary to use Delmax in conjunction with the distance gauge. Delmax is Aligned on the workpiece utilizing the check marks. One or two holes are drilled, Dalmax is slid clear. The distance gauge is inserted in the last bore. Dalmax is aligned to the end of the rod and drilling continues. The process continues along the workpiece. The next example 
is a face joint where we drill into the face of the wood rather than the end or edge. The one before on edge is fairly simple to complete. However, in order to drill into the face of the wood, we have to convert dowel max from this configuration into this configuration. In this manner, we can place dowel max on the workpiece, align it with the check marks, and drill into the face of the wood. The next example is a T joint. The end joint is fairly straightforward. However, in order to complete this aspect, we have to use dowel max in this configuration. The next example is a mitre. However, this could be 30 degrees, 60 degrees, or any other angle. And it's fairly simple to execute. Dolmax in the normal configuration is installed on the workpiece and aligned with the apex following which drilling is carried out. <coughs> the next example are double and triple row applications. The, the first row is completed with Dalmax in its normal configuration and the second row is conducted with Dalmax with the three quarter spacer installed, always working from the same reference points. With the triple row, the first these require to be staggered, and the first row is conducted with Delmax in its normal configuration. The second row is conducted with Delmax with the 3 8 spacer, and the third row is conducted with Delmax incorporating the 3 quarter inch spacer. The next example is a mitre on edge, and this can be created with an accessory which is added to Delmax in this configuration. My current project involves the design and construction of two identical dressers. These are 100% dowel construction, 75 separate joints in each cabinet for a total of 150 joints, a woodworker's nightmare if it wasn't for dowel marks. The 3-8 system is used for the top, front, rear and side construction and the quarter inch system is used for the corner of the drawers and also for the, to reinforce the raised panels. In conclusion, we offer a 100% guarantee. If you decide to purchase Delmax and you're not entirely happy, Return it for a complete refund. Thank you. Uh, this will be a comparative destructive test on various joints, including a pocket hole, a biscuit, a mortise and tenon, and a multiple dowel. The test is being witnessed by Mr. Michael Campen, expert woodworker and contributing editor with both Canadian woodworking magazines. Two hundred, two twenty, two sixty. You can speak three hundred. Three forty. Four hundred. And we have some cracking. Cracking at four hundred. And it broke at four twenty. Four twenty? Yeah. The next uh, test is a single biscuit, uh, number 20, uh, again tested on a three and a half inch, uh, one by four, uh, red oak. If you could read them out, Mike. All right, we're hitting 200 pounds, 220, 40, 80, about 285.
The next disruptive test is on the Lee FMT mortise and tenon joint, again on Red Oak. 100, 200, 300, 400, 5, 6, 6, 640. Uh, the next test is uh, a Festool Domino, a double unit with two plates inserted in a one before again of red oak. 200, 300, 400, 500, 5, 560. Uh, the next joint you potato is uh, a single row, five dull, multiple dull joint on red oak. <coughs> 300, 400, five, 500, 600, 680, 90, 700, 740, 780, 800, 820, 840, 860, 870, about 890. The first step is to take the two wooden work pieces, place them together like so. Um, now it should be understood that the, the important faces when we finish with the joint are these two faces and these two edges. Now what we do is we mark these reference faces with check marks on the important faces like so and we place an X on the surfaces to be drilled. We take the first workpiece, secure it in the vise. With respect to the check marks on the wooden workpieces, corresponding check marks have been machined on the faces of the Delmax unit. These are on this surface of the reference plate and on the end of the reference block. Now, what we do is we match up these check marks to the check marks on the wooden workpiece. So this one to here and check mark on the end of the reference block to the check mark on the end of the workpiece. Remove the first workpiece from the vise, install the second workpiece. Now the dowel marks will be placed in the reverse position on this workpiece, but again we take the check marks and match them to the check mark on the workpiece. Now this time we move to this side, check mark on the end of the reference block to the check mark on the end of the workpiece, tighten as before and follow the same procedure of drilling. It will be no we have a, a drill stop here which gives us the exact depth of uh, hole required. Move the dial mounts. 
Once the uh, drilling process is complete, we then insert the, the hardwood dowels, which of course should be glued, and you can insert any number or any sequence you like, provided you perform the same process on the second piece of wood. We are using five here on the one before, and that gives you a very strong joint with this edge flush and this reference face flush. We mark the important or reference faces as shown, the reference edges as shown with check marks, and across where the on the face to be drilled. Place the first workpiece in the device. Now once again, the check marks on the device go against the check mark on the wooden workpiece. The check mark on the block comes against the edge of the wood. You'll see they're absolutely equidistant between the one by two. Take the second workpiece, place it in the vise, clamp as before. Now, once again, the check mark to check mark. And the second check mark against the other face. And this time, drill two holes. Clamp the clamp screws, remove the workpiece, insert the two dolls with glue, of course, and join and clamp. Once again, we're absolutely flush here and flush on the edge. Let's place the two piece workpieces together. Check the reference faces. Exactly the same procedure. Place an X on the surfaces to be drilled to receive the hardwood dowels. Place the first workpiece in the vise. Tighten. Take the dowel marks unit. Again, the check mark to the check mark. The check mark here against the edge. Get it flush, nice and flush. Tighten the brass clamp screws. And we drill six holes in this particular case. Move the unit down. Place the indexing tool in the, the required bore and drill the last two double holes. Using the indexing tool allows you to work your way down any length of workpiece. Remove the first workpiece. Insert the second workpiece, tighten in the vise. Once again, check mark to check mark, and the other check mark on the block to the end. Get it nice and flush. Hold the device down and tighten the clamp screws. Check that the dowel max is right down on the surface of the wood. Drill exactly the same sequence of holes. Now loosen the clamp screws, move the device down, insert the indexing tool to give you the exact positioning as before, and drill.
for the last two holes. Disconnect and remove the indexing tool. Remove the Delmax. Set these six hardwood dolls. Now we will join the two work pieces together and uh, they go together perfectly and this face is absolutely flush and the edge is absolutely flush and as you can see this is a six dowel application and the, the whole process is extremely simple. And the next uh, demonstration involves uh, a mitre joint and it's a uh, two one inch by three inch timbers and it's exactly the same process again. The reference faces marked with a check mark and in this case we mark these two edges up here and an X where the face is to be drilled. Place the first workpiece in the vise and once again check mark to check mark and bring the dull max up to the apex of the, the mitre. Just flush with that. Tighten the brass clamp screws. And in this particular case, we're going to drill three and four. Remove dull max. Place the second workpiece in the device. Again, check mark to check mark, and the apex to the end of the reference block. Again, three and four. Remove the dumb mix. Set two hardwood dolls with glue. And join the two work pieces as shown. Again, we're absolutely flush here and the two corner points are absolutely flush. The reference faces are marked as shown. This is reference to that. These two edges are reference faces and we mark the edges to be drilled. The first work piece is placed in the vise. Again, check mark to check mark. Check mark to check mark. Make sure that's flush. Disconnect the clamp screws, remove the device. Place the second work piece in the vise. Now this will be a flush joint as against an offset joint. Again check mark to check mark. Check mark on the reference block against the edge of the workpiece. Hold the device down flat, tighten the clamp screws and drill exactly the same sequence of holes. Disconnect, remove the Delmax, clear the passages, set five hardwood dulls. It will be noted this is a flush 
type joint. See how easily it goes together? Again, the faces are flush and the edges are absolutely flush. This joint will be offset, in other words it will not be flush, it will be slightly offset, three-eighths of an inch, and we'll again we'll use the indexing tool. So first of all we'll place the two pieces together, mark the important reference faces as shown, mark the edges as shown, across for the holes to be drilled. Take the first work piece, Again, check mark to check mark. In this particular case, the check mark on the end isn't this end, so we move double marks to that end. Just move the device down. Insert the indexing tool for alignment. Tighten the clamp screws, miss one hole, and then drill the last two. Just going to remove the indexing tool, the device. We have six accurately aligned holes. Take the second workpiece. In this instance, we require an offset joint, and to do that, we have to remove the 3 8 spacer shown here. And we move the, the reference plate back. Simply install the 3 8 spacer, tighten the two screws, and we're ready for application. Now, again, check mark to check mark. Nothing changes, it's the same process check mark here to the check mark in this particular case we're utilizing six double holes so for that reason we have to use the indexing tool we replace the device as shown insert the indexing tool into the last bore miss one bore and then drill the two. Just going to remove the indexing tool. Clean the bores. Set the dulls. And reinsert. The second workpiece is shown. Again, we're flush on the edge. We have a three inch, three eighths of an inch offset, and an extremely strong and versatile joint. Again, the procedure is simple. We merely mark the areas. I've already marked them. The check marks are shown, and on the edge and edge here. Uh, check across for the, the, uh, the, for the surfaces to be drilled. Take the first work please, install it in the vise. Place the downlight unit again with the check mark to the check mark on both surfaces. Good. Drill the first two holes. Now in order to achieve the second row of holes, we have to use a spacer. Tighten. Place the device again to the same reference points, check mark to check mark. 
and the same procedure here. So that we're always working to the same reference points. This is extremely important. Now we drill the second. As you can see, these holes are absolutely equidistant. Take the second workpiece. Now to insert the device, uh, utilizing the same procedure, check mark to check mark, check mark on here to the end, place the device on the workpiece in order to drill the second row of holes, align to the end here, tighten the brass clamp screws and drill the two remaining holes. Move the device, clear the bores, then install the second workpiece. And again, we have a very strong and accurate joint. This top face is flush, and this face is absolutely flush. Again, we che check the reference faces as shown, as in other examples, and we place an X in the areas to be drilled. Now, we place the first workpiece in the vise, tighten carefully, then place the device again with the check mark to the check mark as shown. and uh, bring it to the edge of the workpiece and tighten both clamp screws. Now in this particular case we're going to drill one, three and five. Then we'll have a second row of dowels and then a third row for amazing strength. Now, in order to drill the second row of holes, we have to utilize the 3 8 of an inch spacer. Tighten. Now, we follow the same procedure back to the same reference points. Yeah, and on the end here. So they're always working from the same reference points. Tighten the clamp screws for the Dalmax unit. Now we're lined up in a different area and we will drill two and four. Unclamp. Now in order to achieve the third row, we have to use the three quarter inch spacer. Again, we refer back to the same reference faces. Insert the second workpiece and follow exactly the same procedure. Tighten the clamp screws, make sure it hasn't moved, and drill one, three, and five. Disconnect and remove. Disconnect and remove the three quarter inch spacer. Install a three eight inch spacer. Tighten the brass knobs. Once again, it's working to exactly the same reference points. We're in the middle, so we do two and four.
disconnect and remove Delmax, disconnect and remove the 3 8 spacer. Install Delmax back on the workpiece. Disconnect and remove Delmax. Clean the bores. And also it demonstrates the absolute accuracy of Delmax. So once again we're absolutely flush on the edge and on the face and we have an extremely uh, strong joint created by Delmax. What you would do initially is measure this particular uh, longitudinal piece, determine where this spar is to go and once that's determined line there. Uh, exactly the same procedure as before, check mark to check mark, check mark to check mark. Place the first workpiece, secure it firmly in the vise, uh, same procedure, check mark to check mark, check mark to check mark. Get the wooden workpiece flush with the end of the reference block. Tighten both clamp screws. And in this case we'll do four uh, dull holes, one, two, four and five. Loosen the Delmax clamp screws. Remove the first workpiece. Install the second workpiece. Clamp securely. Now, again, check mark to check mark. In this particular case, we move the edge of the, the reference block to coincide with this line here. Tighten the Delmax clamp screws and drill the same sequence of holes. Disconnect and remove Delmax. Remove the second workpiece. Clear the bores. Glue the hardwood dulls. Insert them. As shown to the required depth. Take the second workpiece and clamp it. And once again, we're absolutely flush on the face here and we're coincident with the pencil mark described there. Uh, we mark the reference faces with check marks as shown, and the same on the upper edge here. And we mark an X on the surfaces to be drilled. And uh, we take the first workpiece, and we install it in the vise, tighten it carefully. And once again, we take the Delmax unit and uh, utilizing the scribed machine marks, against the machine, the uh, pencil marks on the workpiece and the scribe mark on the end of the reference block to the scribe mark on the end of the workpiece. We uh, tighten the clamp screws and then we drill the required sequence of dull holes. In this particular case, uh, for the strength we require, I'm going to drill nine dull holes. Now, as before with the longer work pieces, we need to use the indexing tool to give us absolute accuracy. 
sure that the DOMAX unit is clamped down on the workpiece. Same as before, loosen off the clamp screws, move Domax down, tighten, and then drill the number five. Disconnect and move Domax down. Tighten as before. And drill the last two holes. Remove the Domax unit, clean the surfaces and bores. And that's nine holes accurately aligned. We now take the second workpiece. Now to achieve this we have to use a deep spacer. Between the clamp screw, the clamp bracket and the reference block. Tighten that up. You can see this is all a very quick process. We also have to move the 3.8 spacer into position between the reference plate and the guide block. That's mainly to give us the, the spread we require. Okay, once again, it's exactly the same process before. We move the check mark to the check mark, the check mark on the interior to the check mark there. Move it up. Tighten the clamp screws and drill exactly the same sequence as you did for the other workpiece. Move the Dalmax unit down to the last bore, tighten the clamp screws, drill number five, remove the indexing tool, tighten the clamp screw, drill the next two. Follow the same procedure again. Drill number five. Remove the indexing tool from the Dalmax unit. Line it with the last bore again. Tighten the clamp screws. Drill the last two. Disconnect and remove Dalmax. Clean all the surfaces. I am now inserting the hardwood dowels which we would normally coat in glue. There we have now an extremely strong joint and absolutely flush on the two top edges here. And when it's glued and clamped, this would be much stronger than a, a, a mortise and tenon joint. Um, 
same procedure is followed. The surfaces are marked with check mark as shown, and uh, an alignment mark is made on the transverse piece here, onto which we fit the Delmax in this configuration. Initially, we take the first workpiece, insert it in the vise, and it's exactly the same procedure, except we now we want to find the center of this two inch timber, so we use the 3.8 spacer. Remove the spacer, move the reference plate out, place that in there, and again, check mark to check mark, check mark to check mark. Get the two surfaces flush. Tighten the clamp screws, then we'll drill four holes for this particular joint. Disconnect and remove Dalmax, and we have four equally spaced bores on that workpiece. The next example using Dalmax involves long pieces of wood, they can be any length whatsoever. Again, we have to use the same reference check marks, make sure these are absolutely flush, check marks here and here, and X to mark the areas to be drilled. Now, first of all, we place these pieces of wood back to back, place them in the Place them in the vise. Tighten. Get the set square. And um, mark the faces to be drilled, which will coincide with the end of the reference block. Take the first work piece, again check mark to check mark, check mark on this end, place the Dalmax unit on, move the Dalmax unit up to the edge of the scribe pencil mark, tighten the clamp screws and drill one hole. The second scribed pencil mark, same procedure, and drill again, drill one hole. Move to the third, as can be understood, this. Can, we can carry on for any length of workpiece, whether it's 12 or 15 feet, it doesn't matter. We now take the second workpiece and perform exactly the same procedure. Tighten in the clamp. Now check mark to check mark on the reference block. Bring it up to the first Scribed line, clamp, and drill. One hole. Move to the next scribed line. Tighten the clamp screws, drill one hole. Move to the next. Remove Dalmax, clean the various bores, install the hardwood 
dolls, which normally would be coated in glue. We now attach the two workpieces together. And as we can see, if, when these would be clamped, it would form a very tight and very strong joint. Uh, again, we have to place the check marks on the reference faces as before and at the end here and X's on the surface to be, to be drilled. We take the first workpiece, insert it in the vise and again with Dolmax in the normal configuration using the check marks again, check mark here, check mark there against this check mark here, move it to the end of the workpiece, clamp both clamp screws and drill one. Okay, disconnect and remove Dolmax, move it along. Now we take the Dolmax accessory tool, the distance gauge, move the pin into the hole which we've drilled Move Dalmax up till it abuts to the end of the rod. Tighten the clamp screws and drill one more hole. Disconnect and remove the Dalmax unit. Take off the distance gauge. Remove the first workpiece. Insert the second workpiece in the reverse position. Again, we take Dull marks in its normal configuration. Again, check mark to check mark, check mark to check mark, flush, tighten, drill the first hole, remove. Same procedure, insert the distance gauge. Bring down mix up to little butts, tighten the clamp screws, then drill the second hole. Disconnect and remove Dalmax, the distance gauge, clean the bores, install two hardwood dowels which would normally be coat and glue. And then insert the two work pieces. And again, we're absolutely flush here and we're flush at the other reference face. And uh, this is a great time saver for long pieces of wood. The exact same procedure is required. You place the pieces together, pl place the check marks on the important reference faces and X on the surface to be, to be drilled. Take the first workpiece, install it in the vise and again in the, the normal configuration with Dalmax, place the check mark to check mark and check mark to check mark in the the usual manner. Bring it flush with the end, tighten both clamp screws and we'll do four, uh, we'll do five holes in this. You now we remove the Delmax unit and the first work piece, clear the bores, install the second work piece in the Device, tighten carefully. Now to achieve this, this is an end to face joint. So in order to achieve this, we have to rearrange, disassemble and rearrange Dalmax. To do that, remove the clamp bracket and studs. Place these on the lower side of the alignment bracket. Now we install 
door marks in exactly the same configuration. The check mark to check mark. Tighten and then drill. Remove Domax, clear the bowls, install the five hardwood dolls, take the second workpiece. Now we have a perfect joint with the Top edge is perfect and these two faces perfect and a very strong final joint.